Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and we, uh, heartily apologies for all of the technical errors we've got here. Server crashing, track didn't want to load, cars didn't want to load, skins had a problem, and uh, yeah, it's just been a crazy 10 minutes here. I, it's, it's it's one of those technical advancements. It's almost like when you need to go out with a car on a track and the car just doesn't want to start. But anyway, we are running. We should get into qualifying very, very soon. And uh, with me tonight, uh, Mr. T Tommy Leary, all the way from Cape Town. Good evening, Tommy. Good evening, Charles. How are you doing today? Oh, <laughs> you just heard it. <laughs> we are having a little bit of issues here. Um, I'm glad that eventually you managed to get in, Tommy, as well. Um, you know, we've just battled all along here. But uh, you know what? Eventually we're in and we should be running well now. So let's hope everything keeps on. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, every time there is a bit of hiccups, we always manage to get it sorted out in time to start the event and have a good event. So let's hope all is well. As we are heading out to qualifying, the guys is heading out onto the track now. Yeah, so at least we can restart the service now back to qualifying. As you can see, these guys are heading out of the pit stream here, or the pit straight actually, so to speak. And uh, yeah, let's uh, hope for a good evening. Remember the top 15 we had, uh, the, the top 15 drivers were split by a second. So yeah, it is uh, crazy. Yeah, tonight is definitely going to be another action pack night. The guys in Division 1 is fast, they are on each other's heels. So we saw the last race at East London, there was very close racing, a few rubbing here and there and a bit of bumps, but nothing major at least. Yeah, this is going to make an interesting one for tonight, Tommy. Um, Swartzkop is known for the tight turns they've got. We already saw some of the guys overshooting as they go into turn one. So yeah, let's hope these guys can actually you know, keep it up tonight and and it's going to make an interesting turn one you know these guys i think they said if they can get through turn one and turn two which will be our fastest ones it should get you a better one speaking about squad corps let's have a little bit of a look at the history about the track um squad corps was finished built in 2001 the track is 2.5 kilometers in length They've got a few different things that they do. They've got the skid pad, they've got kart racing, they've got 4x4 four four racing or 4x4 four four course. They've got some advanced driving courses and even a kiddie squad center for kids to learn riding quad and off-road motorcycles. So they've got a, quite a few things that they do on the track and around the track for the locals here in South Africa. They are actually from Gauteng. Um, and it looks like it's a very nice track to actually be on. I've never been there personally. So for the first time in SRA or sim racing, we've got a race that's going on Swart Corps, same as what we had the first one out on Tony Rust. So this is the second time that SRA has a first on a racing track in the simulation world. Yeah, it is, it's nice to get, uh, you know, out in the virtual road world actually and bringing these tracks and uh, you know all these race tracks to the virtual world um no we could see some of our polo cup drivers also in the practice sessions that was remarkably fast they know this track so well and um as you can see they're going through turn one turn two you, it's just wheel spinning as they go through but two minutes to go in qualifying we've got adrian now mr Namibia's favorite son, as we call him, he's leading at 110.5 currently. 
And uh, Valdez Fichas is doing remarkably well in second position. They also won 10.58. So these guys have got 0 0.058 but basically between the two of them. And then, uh, yeah, we've got James Leach also in there. And one of our new drivers, we've got Chase Harold, who's doing remarkably well, sitting in Div 1 in fourth position. So, yeah, it makes for an interesting race here. It definitely does. And speaking about the actual Polar Cup drivers, um, I, we had a bit of a chat with Stewart, and he said that he's racing Swart Corps today, and he's actually racing Swart Corps on next or next weekend on the actual track in their life. Yeah, so it's for anybody in Gauteng or in Centurion area who's got nothing to do, go out and go support these guys in the VW Polo Cup next week. As you heard it, we will have some of our local guys definitely out there. But look at this, Mr. Christopher Long, Drift King, South Africa's number one drift champion now. He just jumped up all the way in the Mike's Place VW Polo into second position. Devil Kotz is still into third, and that's also really good for him. He's, remember, this is a new driver as well. He's only been two or three races with us, and you now he likes this. Man, our good friend, Mr. Sean Lorero in Simtech VW Polo, jumping into fifth. We've got John Henry Vaughan, if I'm not mistaken, is a 14-year-old VW Polo Cup driver, also jumping in into sixth. James Leeds from LMS Cricket. The guys in Centurion Pretoria, you guys will know these guys. They own the franchise for LMS Cricket in Pretoria. So, yeah. And then we've got, uh, is it, let's see quickly. There is Re James Lees and Rene Lees is racing, the two brothers. And then Clinton Besidenote is sitting all the way back here in 14th. But, you know, he, he hardly qualifies on top, but he always makes his way through the track. Definitely does, does indeed. And then we've got, uh, who's it here? Mr. Melvin Gosen, the JP Hydraulics VW Polo, um, currently in 17th position. You know, being one of our admins and literally two or three minutes ago, he was running around in a virtual server trying to get this this track to run and, and tonight to operate smoothly. So, you know, I think he's a little bit pro preoccupied, but um, yeah, shake it off, Melvin, and you'll get back there. But uh, into overtime, we're going here. Yeah. We will have, I think, Adrian now is just on his last lap, but I don't think he should be better. That time of his is good, Tommy. Adrian is definitely being quite fast out there tonight again. And if you have a look at the top four, even the top five, they are about 0.1 to 0.2 of a second from each other. And the top 10, all us, all, sorry, I'm wrong, all the way up to 13th, is less than one second apart from each other. This is going to be extremely close racing tonight. And Sean, I think it's Sean Herrera that just jumped up into second position for the qualifying. Yeah, he's done. So there we've got it. We've got one and a half minutes to go. We've got Adrian now, um, Namibia's favorite son in first position. He really likes his polos. Christopher Long in second. Baldur Swiches will do third position. Sean Lerero is in fourth. Evald Kotze is making his position five. Carl van der Merwe, a brand new driver for us in sixth position. John Henry Vaughan is seventh. Peter Groblo, SRA's admin and from Bethlehem, he's bringing you into eighth. René Leach is in ninth. Chase Herald, nice to see this new driver wrapping up the top ten. Kyle Lawrence, Mr. Kyle, he's trained so many of these VW drivers in the karting world. And then Gerard Niemand is in 12th, James Lee's in 13th, Clinton Besson in 14th, Mike McGee of BWR Griffins is wrapping up in 15th, Stuart Mack in 16th, Hendo uh, Kraus sorry, in 17th, Melvin Goes is in 18th, and then myself and you, Tommy, is just the guys that's doing some talking tonight. Well, at least our names is on the board, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I can't say that I, <laughs> I would rather have it there. But, um, uh, you know, Tommy, uh, we saw the server earlier and um, for this whole week, practice services were running. How many laps have you done on Swatscope, Tommy? Um, I'm not quite sure, but if I have to take a guess, it's close to 100, maybe a bit more. Um, like, Tommy, I... you actually did 284 practice laps. This week. <laughs> Don't rub it in. I'm still not that fast yet. <laughs> I'm so still struggling we a bit. to see you right on top there as you're going to go in and uh, take us off for this. Just see uh, 
and jump to the pits here or not not, not yet but we just need to remember this Tommy to actually get our cars off this track um, as we're going to follow Adrian now or oh, let's just follow Devot Kotsa I think into the first turn start finish straight up Adrian now is going to lead this back I think Christopher Long is going to make a good one off the start and then remember the guy that's I think has got the best of the line speed is Peter Groblom. That guy is just fast in line. And let's have a look at this blue Sassel Polo, what he's going to do. Guys on the track, we've got a couple yes. of seconds to go. Three, four, five, six lights are on. And uh, lights are off. We're racing. 50 minutes to go. Oh, bit of lag there. John and Henry Vaughan. Huge off. Huge off. Look at this. Huge lag spike here. Who's... This is just a see. That's another technical problem we've got. Is all these lag spikes that's coming on? But in any way, we're going to join up now. Back, we've got yes, right on the front. Of this get it sorted as soon as. Yeah, no, it will sort itself out. It's just a huge as being here. The server is currently at one thousand five hundred. So, just one of those. Now the gremlins have jumped in, Tommy. I think we need to get ourselves some little bells that we hang on the computers, like what the bikers hangs on their bikes. Those little gremlin bells, and every now and then we just ring the bell so it can keep the gremlins away from the feet. Yeah, no, definitely we need to, I think, have a lot of voodoo or some other kind of <laughs> something we need there. Definitely we have to. If you have a look at the I front could. of the track, Christopher Long just made it pass on Arjo now and actually made it stick through that turn heading into the main straight. So they're coming down to the main straight completing the first lap of the race. Yeah, Arjo now is not going to let back off now. Look at him on the outside here on corner one out in Christopher Long on the inside. Wheel spinning there from John Henry. Look Shall at John Henry start. Tommy? Oh, he's still on the track. Oh, jeez. But they've managed to avoid that, so <laughs> everyone has came to clean beyond that one. Heading down into the hair bender, Christopher Long is making a move on Audra Nell again and actually made it pass as well. But the top four, actually top five, are quite close on each other's heels. This is really a battle going for first place between those four drivers. Yeah, Adrian now just clipped the curb there. You can see him onto two wheels as he's going across. John Henry Vaughan capitalized there. He's now taken that position from Adrian now. And uh, yeah, let's see if Adrian can actually make it stick and go through. So battle a little bit back. We've got uh, Carl van der Merwe, number four. Look at him. He's sitting in fourth position now as a new driver that came in. And he's also doing remarkably good in, in these VW Polos. Gevold Kotze and Valdus Swiechers is in fourth and fifth. There's a lack of battle there. And then we've got Sean Lerero. He's also not going to let Valdus Swiechers go, you know, and just run away from him. He's definitely going to put a lot of pressure onto Sean Lerero. And then, yeah, Mike McGee made a brilliant start. He's into ninth position there. Melvin Host, I think he was jumping up from 17th all the way down into 10th. So also a brilliant start for Melvin Yes, we can't do this. We just definitely. If you have a look at here in the mid back, it's a very nice back of going there. So we're trying to get this stream out here. For some reason, we just keep getting a huge ping to the server, and it's not going to make a nice evening, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm having a bit of problem or technical difficulties on my side as well. I can't seem to get my AC towers to work properly. Uh, I have to unfortunately jump between drivers, so it takes a bit longer for me to catch up to them and to see where all the action is happening on the track. But as we say, no matter what happens, we try and give the best that we can. And uh, we do apologize for the lagging of the server and the stream. Yeah, no, it's definitely not a lucky one here tonight, but we can do that. Um, I think we should just get through it. You know, it's always the case we had the same sort of issue with, uh, you know, when we run new server or new tracks and all that. So, yeah, 
let's just see. But you know what? Ten minutes into the race, John Henry Vaughan is currently leading here on to Christopher Long. And then we've was it Audrey Null as well running. Huge slags again. Oh, no, we can't do this, Tommy. I'll and I mean, look to... back down, further down the back here in... Sorry, Tommy, I lost you there for a second or two. It's not a problem. I can see there's major lagging going on on the stream. It's not, not the, one of our best evenings, I can definitely tell you that. But um, I don't know, for some reason I'm just battling and uh, thanks uh, Omar, I did check the speeds. I'm running at 130 megabytes download and, and I've got uploads here of running 62. So I'm, I'm not sure, my drop frames is only 0.3. So it's not even, I don't know what it can be, but uh, let's just try and get one or two settings going here yeah? and then yeah, we'll take it from there. So maybe you can have a little bit of a look on that and I'll try and keep the guys watching the stream company. Um, you can maybe bit focus a bit more on the... If we have a look down the further back down the pack, we've got Malvin close in 10th position, Chase Harold up in 9th, and Mike McGee up in 10th. But there's a huge battle going on between Malvin and Carl Lawrence at the moment for that 10th position. And if you head it upstream, you've got Chase Harold and Mike McGear. Sorry, that's Chase Harold, Mike McGear, and Clint Poseidon. That's actually having a battle for seventh position. And then right up in the front of the pack, you've still got John Henry Vaughan in first position, Christopher Long in second, Audrey Null in third, and Shal van der Merwe in fourth position. And usually Audrey Null by this time in the race would have quite a lead out on the pack with at least about two to three seconds but at the moment he's still in third position having that battle with john henry vaughan and christopher long which christopher long is actually trying to have a look up on the inside of john henry vaughan going through the two, the first right hand coming up to the final straight before the main straight and he actually passed john henry vaughan but he's not backing down he's actually fighting back having a look up on the outside but falling back into that one this is quite interesting because Audra Nal is just waiting for an opportunity to make a pass. And just as I said that he's taking the inside line through to John and Yvonne going into the main straight, passing him, but they're still side by side. And this is quite close racing up front here. Yeah, and sorry. right at the back, Shaw just hanging back, waiting and waiting for that opportunity for one of the three in the front to make a little bit of a mistake so he can put his nose right up in there as well. Yeah, it's always a good battle when these guys start fighting with each other, Tommy. And uh, yeah, it's uh, you know these, and it's nice to see the new drivers as well. I mean, let's give it. Carl van der Merwe is doing exceptionally well. Um, there's you know there's nothing this guy can't handle. Definitely, and even the old coach is actually catching up to those four. They are so busy battling each other that they are slowing down a bit, getting the, the back or the drivers a little bit further back down the back, getting closer and closer, catching up with them. And there's a huge battle going for second place at the moment between John Henry Vaughan, Audra Nal, and Charles van der Merwe, and oh. Christopher Long is pulling a slight gap. Oh, it's I like Carl. Sorry, I, I, not I like it that you give me some <laughs> that you give me some time there, but it's definitely Carl from Amarva. Uh, it's Carl from Amarva. Oh, I'm so sorry. I do apologize for that one. Uh, oh, and John Henry Vaughan just ran wide coming out of that turn before the head deep and turn. Slight contact between Carl and Adrian, and Adrian has just fallen back into fourth position. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to back down that easily. Uh, this this lag spike is actually making it crazy to have a look here. Um, I just you know I, I think it might be a massa, Tommy. I had a look here. My for some reason, I think like uh, Jay is one of our IT guys also is mentioning that I think I might need to restart my PC because I'm running into the 99% on my actual GPU, which normally is running at about 10 or 20. So. Yeah, I think there might be a big, big, big error on my side um, that I need to definitely take care of. 
but uh, we'll see if we can get somebody up maybe to just look for us at, at our race two and stream it out better but yeah sorry for that it's just one of those days i know it's definitely a day full of gremlins today <laughs> not the way we would like to do uh, swat cop in real life or in the virtual world but anyway five minutes to go you guys can have a look there's still a real good battle christopher long from mike's place and tsa is running away from it now he's uh running what is this about a one and a half second lead onto john henry vaughan john henry vaughan settling in really nicely in second position and then we've got carl van amava who's made his way all the way back into third and he's actually the overtaken the movie's favorite son Adrian now Devil Cots is still not out of that, and uh, Mike McGear, exceptional, look at him, he's into 7th position now, and then, yeah, I think Valdeschik has had a bit of a uh, knock somewhere, as he's totally out, and then we've got Gerard Niemand also has jumped to the pit, so it's unfortunate to see these guys out, they are really one of our good drivers, and then let's see if we can see Peter Chobra, he's also right at the back, so there must have been a big knock somewhere that we've totally missed between all of these lags we had tonight. Definitely, but Peter is actually trying, having a nice dice going with Venlo Kraus. Um, I'm pretty sure he's not going to back down easily on that one. I'm sorry, my, my scoring or standings at the moment has not updated yet. It's actually Peter Hobler and Stuart Matt that's busy having a, a nice dice going. And then you've got Melvin Goos, Waldus Swiegers and Chase Harold that's busy having a dice for 10th position. Yeah, there we go again. We can see Chase Harold here. Look at them. Valdus Wickers and Melvin Hoes on the outside. This is a battle now running in for ninth position here. With side-by-side uh, -side action as they go through the, the barbecue bend, as they normally call them. Because if you come to the real-life track, Tommy, right where these guys are through, this is a bunch of guys who will always park with their cars, tailgates open, and you'll have KDAX and barbecues all over, and you'll always smell the bright flakes as you drive on the highway. So yeah, it's quite interesting as these guys are going through onto the, I think it's a fort in the, in the Mercedes-Benz AMG Academy on the left hand side. And uh, yeah, Christopher Long is still leading the pack and I think he should have a brilliant race further. Uh, he's ex extended his lead actually to two, two seconds now onto John Henry Vaughan. So I think he's just um, settling in very well. And then, you know what Tommy, John Henry Vaughan is doing exceptionally well here. I have to say he's doing very well. He's had a bit of tough races in the past and back in getting the, getting to know the car a bit better and getting the hang of the new tracks and things. And for some reason tonight, he is doing extremely well. I have to say hats off to him. Yeah, he's just perfectly well settled in. And, uh, you know, these PW Polo guys, they can actually handle their cars very well. And then, yeah, look at this battle. We've got Carl now being chased down with Adrian now. Adrian now on the inside of him as I had a little bit of a spike again there. No and Adrian to... just took the inside line going past Carl. So well done to Adrian for moving up into the third position. Let's see if he can actually make it, make up some time and catch Chase uh, or John Henry Vaughan and maybe even Christopher Long. There is only two minutes left of the race, so I'm guessing about two to three laps to go. So let's see if he can actually make it work. Oh, and some huge contact between Carl and Adrian now, but at least no one lost some positions except for Carl. I think he yeah. dropped down all the way to fifth position there, unfortunately. Yeah, Carl, unfortunately, he is back to fifth position. So, um, yeah, I think he needs to work very hard to get that, uh, you know, back up. Um, he's done very well. He's really done well for tonight. So I think he might... Uh, you know, he might still come back. He's not doing too bad. He's really good. But he's going to have a good battle now with a very seasoned sim racer, Mr. Mike McGear from BWR. Look at him on the outside, rally crossing, as he actually overtakes Coral on the outside of the track into Sunset. Uh, and Mike is off. Huge off there, Mike. A little bit of commentator's curse there. Uh, oh, you could see Mike actually in the background. Huge accident. But, um, you know, it does happen. And... Uh, I think he was pushing a little bit well, but now he's in that sand. Let's see if he can actually get out and not get stuck there. It's not a good place. As he, yeah, he's getting the polo out. So well done for him for getting back on track. Then Mr. Christopher Long, 49 seconds to go, plus two laps. What, two seconds lead onto John Henry Vaughan already. 
I know he has, he's having an exceptional race tonight. Started quite far back. Well, not far back, but far, fell back a bit and then came back all the way up to the front. Worked his way up slowly but surely. Got the lead and he's taking this one away. God, he's uh, going to run away with it. I think he'll keep it too clean. He is a good driver. And remember, he is super fast. Not only in our BTCC, but he is fast in... Just this, in the Polar Cup, you know, they get, you get some drivers that can handle these cars. I'm not one of them. I battle, B, I think BTCC is much easier handling cars. But, yeah, these guys are fast. Christopher Long now, two laps to go. As you can see him coming through the second last corner here. As he's going to go and exit now, he should actually get through. And uh, over the start finish, start his final lap. And uh, that will push him in. And let's see, he should bring it home now. Yes, they have started their final lap now and if he keeps it clean the way he's doing this so far in the race he will definitely take the win on this one yeah fastest lap now you can see there adrian now just set the fastest step 110.2 so that is a super fast lap from him for this race and then yeah let's see uh what he can what he can do and if he can actually chase down I don't think you'll chase down John Henry Vaughan. There's just too much of a gap here. Um, I would not be too sure about that. If you're actually having a look at the race going at the moment, he is closing up on John Henry Vaughan as they're heading towards those two right-handers before the final straight. So don't take it out yet. He might just, just, just pull one out of the hat and actually take that second place from John Henry Vaughan. No, it's catching him slightly, but uh, yeah, unless he makes a mistake, I think uh, John Henry should run away with this. Then where can we find a battle? We've got Devil Courts, uh, Sean Loretto. Uh, there's a battle here. We've got uh, the GB Axel's car of, uh, is it Carl, that I'm not mistaken? No, it is uh, Clinton Besada note. He is being chased down by Kyle Lawrence. Let's see who's got the better drive as they go through the start finish here. Um, oh no, I'm lying. It's now the start finish. And uh, yeah, look at him, Clinton, uh, Clinton Bassano drifting that VW Polo all over the track. And uh, Carl Lawrence just overtook him there. So yeah, um, what, a, what, a, what a race and a finish here by these guys. And to get off the track, Clinton. <laughs> and Christopher Long is just playing around in the front of the handbrake trying to get that over yeah. there. As he finished the race, took him a <laughs> drift. Oh, that drift guy! <laughs> Some drift guys is nickname, and yeah, he looks all good and all fun. But yeah, that was our race one, guys. We had Christopher Long in first position. Well done to you, Mike's Place and TTS. I represented the John Henry Vaughan in second, Adrian Null in third, Jeff Cotts in fourth, John Larrere in fifth. And then we've got Mr. Carl van der our new guy that brought it home in six, Carl Lawrence in seven. Clint Mercedes note in the GB car is running here in, uh, actually, I like this Hulk on the bonnet, but yeah, in uh, eighth position, we've got uh, then Mr. Chase Harold in finish in ninth. And you know, he had a brilliant start. It's just, unfortunately, I think he had a bit of an accident there. But yeah, then we've got James Leach, Valdus Swiches, and then Melvin Hoes in the JP Hydraulics VW Polo. Um, that's also one of our main sponsors of this race. In 12th, Renee Leach in 13th, Stewie Mack in 14th, Baldu, uh, Hindu Kraus, sorry, in 15th, Mike McGear 16th, Peter Kroble in 17th, and then Gerrit Niemann retired in 18th. But that was our race one. Let's quickly go over and see what these guys at JP Hydraulics, our main sponsor for this league, is doing in their off times. Have a look at this, and if anybody doesn't get jealous, I don't know, but I surely am.
All right, guys, we are back. And how was that for a shop? I mean, you know, these guys are definitely having a lot of fun there in Namibia. And, uh, you know, if, if anybody of you guys need some hydraulics done or know of somebody that is in need, just have a look and contact Mr. Allen himself uh, from JP Hydraulics. These guys are experts and they do work a lot. And I know the other day, which is quite funny, um, I think it was Melvin that phoned Allen and he was in the bottom of a boat busy fixing some hydraulic piping. So it's an owner that's hands on. And that's what's, that's what's making it really nice. And I think that's what makes Simrace Africa and JP Hydraulics also such a nice partnership that, you know, you've got the admins that's hands on with designing and creating these cars, these tracks, and yeah, so it's not that bad. So anyway, let's go and have a look and see what we can do as we've got five seconds to go and then race two will start, which is a reverse order from race one. So let's have a look and see who's going to actually take us off there. So here we go. You can see us now. Clinton beside a note will take us into pole position. Mr. Carl Lawrence himself into second. Carl van der is going to have a brilliant start into third. John Lerero, have a look at this guy. I think I'm calling him for this race off the line. Devot Kotze in fifth. Arjen now will take up the sixth. John Henry Vaughan is going to make his way through as number seven. And then you've got Christopher Long, which this guy is really good with getting through the pack. So I don't think we might have a problem here let's not jinx him but he's really good with getting through a pack and i i think he'll make it stick there then chase let's see what he's going to do when he starts mid back and then james leach so yeah tommy what do you think who's going to take it for race two i have to say i would go with either Adira now johnny nivon or christopher long if they can get through those two first turns and get the whole shot out i'm pretty sure they will make it out very quickly and just run away with this race so I'll just remember to take your car off the yep. track. I just want to get this guy settled out. There we go. We are racing. Race two is off the line. Clinton Besadon, who's in the pits as well with me. Oh, that's Mr. Tommy. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got Clinton Besadon and a huge accident. Have a look here. We've got John Henry Vaughan that was off there with Clinton. And then uh, there's another off. Peter Grobla as well is going off the track. Stewie Mack is right at the back. So, yeah, unfortunately for all these guys had a... A huge accident, and that took them out of their action quick and fast for tonight. Well, if you have a look up in the front, Chris Clinton beside note is kind of running away with this one in the first lap, but obviously, if the race is long, we'll see what happens going further down. Yeah, huge Fight contact, contact look at that. Kyle and Carl oh, going yeah. down into that first right hander and the second that, right hander as well. They had a hard contact, both were pushed wide, but none of them went out. They regained their positions and uh, they are still racing. That is what Polo Cup is about. Definitely is. There is a bit of rubbing, but like they say, sometimes rubbing is racing. But preferably, we try and keep it as clean as possible. But if you make contact, try and avoid not losing position or even causing position loss for another driver. So hats off to them just going through those tight turns making slight contact and still maintaining a good team race. Yeah, no, definitely. And uh, you could see Melvin Host also disconnected there. I see him is busy on our servers again. So unfortunately for him, uh, just having sorted out their problems here. And then, yeah, we've got Walder Swicker still fighting with Adrian Nell in ninth position. And John Henry Vaughan is trying to regain him in 10th. And then Chase Herald is in 11th. So he's going to make a big... What is this? Big battle for the mid back here with Valdu again in it. But look at Adrian now and John Henry and them fighting hard as Valdu Swiggers ran wide. Going up to the front of the back, there's a huge battle going for second place between Shaul, Van Amarva, Carl Lawrence, this, this, Christopher Long, and James Leach has also joined this battle. And Renier Leach is not far for, or behind them as well. The Valdez Swiggers on their back, all the way down to Adnan and John Henry Vaughan. So we've got eight drivers battling for that second place at the moment, heading down into the main straight right now. Yeah, I know these guys are... You know, it is quite tight, as you can see in the inside. Huge oh, crash, huge right. crash. Oh, yeah. no, Rene Leach is out. Don Henry Vaughan, James Leach. That's the two Leach's brothers. That is a huge accident. And they almost, and there we go. James Leach again into Jane Henry Vaughan. Henry Krauss had to go and avoid that huge accident into turn one. And I think that is going to be James Leach's evening. 
Um, he's getting back on track, but I think his steering wheel will be, he will be driving at 90 degrees. And it's so unfortunate to see that happen. He's such a good driver. It is very unfortunate, Charles, but unfortunately, when you are a driver's batting for one position, the chances of a little bit of a mess up happening is quite big. Yeah, and Tommy, it, it is, is a, it is a um, tight race. You know, you said that it is uh, only 2.1 kilometers long, and yeah, you know, these guys are battling hard at it. They're not making it for an easy race. Definitely not. But Clinton beside not up in the lead at the moment. He's got about a one second lead going at the moment ahead of Sean Herrero that actually benefited the most out of all of those accidents that got up into the second position with Charles van der right on his heels while they're actually going side by side at the moment. So there's a very nice dice going again for the second position. Yeah. Christopher Lott far back, he's having a look up on the inside of all the Suikers. And he's also going to head back up and join that battle for that second position. Yeah, no, Carlo van der Merwe, big battle there, third position with Sean Lerrero. Mr. Sean Lerrero is actually doing really, really, really good. And, uh, yeah, um, there's going to be a big racing and a big battle here. Carl, inside tapping there, Carl, uh, Chris, Sean Lerrero. I wonder if he's got Helicosa in. But look at Carl Lawrence coming through and they split the thing. This is just carnage all over the track, Tommy. This guys are, I don't even know if this helicopter were activated here. It is just a mess. I think we've got between the lag of tonight, <laughs> making the cars jump and the actual drivers just heating up. This is big jumping tonight all over here. It definitely is. There is a lot of contact going up on the inside. I'm not sure whether Carl van der Merwe has his helicopter on. It, from the looks of it, I, I'm not too sure if he has, but Remember, we'll have to have driver. a look and see. He's a new driver. I wonder if he even knows what Helicosa is like, for instance, and uh, what they're going in. There goes the lag spike right through the roof again as we see some tires and rubber fall through the sky as we regain a little bit of a of display there. But anyway, we've got nine minutes to go. We're going to definitely then change our service over. Melvin Ghost will help us host here. And uh, or and then we can try and see if we can get a proper stream out. Um, it just is one of those things that, for some reason, it just doesn't want to work tonight. Now there, there is always that slight chance of having some technical difficulties due to the fact that it is all part of the world's virtual world, and we unfortunately have no control over it. But guys, we are trying to do our utmost best, especially the admins that is running the servers. Charlotte's doing the streams. They are doing the best that they can with what they have. And I can promise you, the longer that SRA will be running, the better it will get. Yeah, no, it's just one of those things, Tommy. We started tonight with a lot of errors. And I'm, I think we're trying to fix an error on an error on an error. And it's just, you know, normally things run smooth and better. But tonight, I don't, I don't know what it is. One of our, well, I don't know what you call in the IT term. These computer guys will say when there's Kremlins coming into this in their hardware, what they will call it. But in any way, it's just not want to run. As these fast guys, look at this bend. They're hitting it at 150 kilometers an hour in this polo, coming down the back straight. Uh, no, meaning it's actually the uphill into the, and then they're going to go into the corners and then, yeah, let's see what they're going to do. Clinton Beside Note is now running away with this. Look at him. He's sitting at 2.5 seconds in front of Carl van der Merwe, who's actually managed to get Mr. Sean Lerrera. Don't know if that was a bit of a bumping and bruising, but he's, he's sitting in second position. If you look down further down the pack, Mike McGeer, Peter Krobler and Audra now is busy having a dice for that eighth position. Adran is all over the back of Peter and Peter is again all over the back of Mike McGeer. Yeah, so Mike. I don't know whether Peter is going to continue the battle up front or to continue or to start actually defending Adran coming from the back. Oh, Speaking of which, they are going side thing. by side through the heap. And, but unfortunately, Peter ran a bit came down the inside. But he's not backing down there. All busy sitting side by side, heading up to the right hand before you get the up your to the to right handed. But Adran made it. I'm pretty sure he's busy using push to pass, trying to make the pass there. On Mike McGeer, Mike McGeer ran a bit wide, opening the door for Peter Krobler and Adran now both to make a pass on him there. 
Yeah, no, look, we've got in the 18th position, we've got Naughty, who's actually joined us in. Um, really, really late driver, who's jumped in three laps down, and he's sitting on the track here. Yeah, let's hope he, yeah, here we go, he can get it off his track, and or his car off the track. And yeah, Naughty, remember last week, he came in, and Tommy, he ran away with it. He drove everybody off the track. Yes, I do remember that. I was one of the drivers that got <laughs> that, that had to go up against him. And for a new driver out on the track, he did exceptionally well. I mean, we keep saying it over and over, and you sound like a broken record. But when there is a driver that does very well, we have to we have to make it known to the people. He downloaded the track about an hour before the race. He had no setup done on the car. He'd never been on on the game in this car on this track, and he took away that race completely he is one of the very best that there is if i can say it like that um for a new driver new car new track he did exceptionally well it's unfortunate that he joined so late tonight but i'm pretty sure it's got to do with the whole escom load shedding so that's also one of the things that we are battling with some of the drivers has load shedding some of them doesn't some of the admins has load shedding so we've got a bit of technical difficulties in that department as well you know, remember we had to change our grit up so to speak today by you know some guys that actually were supposed to race in divisional one that will have load shedding move them to the divisional two race later tonight to accommodate that and the two guys vice versa up so yeah you know, even with that we had to shift drivers around but you know even with that we still got good drivers on the track i mean we've got Look at this battle. Valdi Swiggers is battling with Sean Lerero. Red and white polo hard and hard as they're going through these corners. And yeah, I mean, these guys are definitely giving it bad to each other. You know, then not one of them are backing down. And yeah, it's going to make quite an interesting finish between these two. Look here, battle for third. Sean Lerero on the outside of Valdi Swiggers hard on the brakes. You can see them getting in. Sean's going to make a stick. Oh, he's going to run wide. He ran wide there. Valdi just took him on the inside, and Valdi, what are you going to do? Uh, he can't, yes, see, look at these polos, they are slipping and sliding, and wheels are spinning, and Valdi, now Sean Lerero, back on the main straight, he's actually taken Valdi Swiggers there, but what it does, and now, Valdi is under huge pressure from Christopher Long, that drift guy is now actually pushing very hard onto Sean Le uh, Valdi Swiggers, apologies, and yeah, it's going to make for an interesting finish in four minutes to go. So we've got a battle going for this third position, or is that the fourth position? So it's for the fourth position between Christopher Long, Baldus Wickers, and then Chase Harrow also joined in that battle. He is just waiting for one of those just three up front to make a little bit of a mistake so he can capitalize on that one. And then you've got also the dice going for first position between Carl and Clinton beside a note. Yeah, you know, Clinton was 2.5 seconds in, ahead, and all of a sudden, Carl from the Mava has just caught him back. There's a back marker, they're passing Naughty there. So we've got the GB body sandwich happening here. We've got Carl from the Mava sitting in a GB truck body sandwich with uh, Clinton beside a note. Carl from the Mava and uh, Naughty that was there, but he was just a back marker. And yeah, now they've got huge fights coming in. And look, Sean Lerero, those guys are also catching up. So this is going to be a huge battle turning here, Tommy. And this, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't even know who's going to take this. This We're going to have definitely. a battle for first in the next lap or two. Definitely. That battle that was going for first position and the battle that was going for third position has now all become a battle for first position. So we literally got one, two, three, four, five. We've got six cars, actually, you can say, fighting for first. Look at this. In and one Malta corner... Just made it the pass on, uh, I think it's Christopher, or is it Sean Herrera? It's the no, pass Sean on Sean Herrera. Herrera for the third position. So now we've got Valdo going in third, with Sean in third, a fourth, and then Christopher just on the heels going for that fifth position. A huge fight to bring as well. I think we can't call Sean Lerera, Christopher Long, Valdi Swiggers, Chaser. Well, not Chaser much. He's a little bit behind. But look at this battle for third year. Valdi Swiggers, Sean Lerera, and Christopher Long. And uh, yeah, Valdi is doing actually exceptionally well to battle with Sean and not being caught up because normally Sean is he's really good with overtaking in a mid-back battle. And 
he's just got this way of driving and yeah normally remember the btcc also races under uh, i think it's with uh, ttsa and the max place car and the uh, toyota Vences. and yeah he's under the simtech so it's nice to see him and uh yeah it, it's gonna make a big battle here look at him shoulder running a little bit wide no lies volder switches running wide and christopher long wheel spinning as he's almost undertook shoulder and the power there let's go a bit yeah they did the the battle yes. for first second third fourth and fifth is really really tight racing it is less than a second apart from each other to be honest if i can make my if I can do the calculations quickly, they are about 0.4 of a second apart from each other. So this is really close racing. If one of them just makes a small mistake, there is no chance you are going to lose that position. Oh, Christopher Long is going to be on the outside of Sean Barrero. And if you look a bit further up to the pack, Clinton Bessela is just kind of settling the in first position. Oh no, I hope I didn't give him commentators curse because he just made a little bit of a mistake. But at least he got out of that one quite well. But look at the back of the pack. Uh, we've got Henry Kraus and, and Peter Groblo battling with James Leach. Oh no, lie, it's Stewie Mack, not Peter Groblo. So even the last guys are having a huge dice with not even 0.4 of a second between these guys so you know the the back markers are even having a huge dice they're not letting go and saying you know the this race is not over look at him we've got Stewie mac looking on the inside of the end crowd so i like it there's fights everywhere look at this mike mcgear fighting with john henry vaughn and uh he's just actually overtaken uh who did he do them uh, mike mcgear and yeah. devil Kutzer. sorry <laughs> That overtook by Pagian, that yeah, so, so there's a battle. Then we go to Peter Groblo. Peter Groblo, huge pressure from Rene Leach. So there's another battle for ninth position. Then we've got the big battle in the front between Clinton Beside and Note, Carl van der Merwe, Sean Lerrera, Christopher Long, Waldo Swiggers, and Chase Herald. And really, and look at this. Even Mr. Carl Lawrence is now. This is becoming a battle, seven car battle. And Adrian now should catch him. And it's going to be an eight car battle on the final lap. That is going to be one close final lap that's going to be running now. Can you imagine this? Let's quickly have a look at Chase's car. Let's try and see if we can get it. Oh, look at Christopher Clinton. Clinton ran super wide there. And he's off. He costed him dearly. Now we've got Carl van der in his first race for Sim Race Africa. Probably going to take it unless his nerves are kicking out. Let's have a look here from Clinton Masada on the inside of his car. Let's see if we can actually follow him and see if we can... Get a proper view. Look at him as he's sitting in the steering wheel onto this main straight. Sean Lerrero right in front of him. Carl van der Merwe as well. Let's see how they're going to finish here. Carl under tremendous pressure from Sean Lerrero. Look at this as he's catching him slightly but surely 0.4 of a second. These guys are so smooth on the steering wheels. I actually notice it only now. Into the final turn they go. Tommy, Mr. Carl van der Merwe is going to take his first position for his first race in sim race africa well done to you you deserve it and then mr sean larrera in second clinton basana was wrapping up the third position christopher long into fourth chase harold is just just finished in front of you know, <laughs> a little bit of a tap there by valdi swiggers on to chase and then we've got uh carl lawrence and uh Audrey now finished off the top and then peter Krober and james now oh, apologies for new oh, look at this big crash this is they always love doing this in the end. Yeah, that's the one good thing about the sim simulation racing. Yeah, at the end of the race, you can tilt the car and it doesn't cost you a cent to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate, but uh, what a race. We had some huge technical difficulties, huge problems, huge issues. It's not even funny to mention. But uh, yeah, I'm going to think we're going to quickly change over service. We're going to try and host from Namibia next. We should have a good connection. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can get something running in Div 2. Um, I hope we can. Uh, if we can't, then uh, yeah, it has to be like that. And we're going to see if we can quickly fix all of these little problems we've had tonight. Um, unfortunately, guys, <laughs> look at John Henry Vaughan here. How's this for finishing off with a little bit of backward donuts? 
Yes, yeah, sure. Let's see if you guys can get it sorted for Division 2. It is unfortunate that we had some lag spikes and some technical difficulties in Division 1. And again, we do apologize for that. But we do try our best. But overall, I think it was decent racing. It was clean racing. It was close racing. A few very close battles that was going on. And I have to say, Carl van der Merwe did exceptionally well out for his first race. But for all the more... How can I say this now? The better drivers or the drivers that's been racing for a bit of longer time periods. Well done for the team racing in Division 1 tonight. There was a bit of rubbing, but overall, excellent racing. Yeah, I know, definitely. But uh, guys, we'll see you guys back now. We were running a bit behind schedule, but we should open up again now. And uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Tommy, we should be back at quarter two or 10 to actually for qualifying for divisional two race tonight so yeah have a look at our stream we should be back soon let's try and get this service restarted quickly but anyway for everybody that was watching at home we appreciate it thanks for everything and thanks for sticking out we we really do appreciate it but anyway tommy for you good luck for race in divisional two and uh, yeah keep our name high and uh, enjoy it so we'll do that. Thank you for the stream. Thank you for all the work and all of the effort that you put in. That's uh, fine. Have a good evening. See you guys out on track. You too, Tommy. Thank you. And for everybody, again, good evening, good night. We'll see you in half an hour. That's from SRA. Goodbye.